Dear friends, in our fourth topic of science and technology part two, today we are going to study the fourth topic, environmental management. Dear students, in the ninth standard, you have studied about the ecosystem. What is the ecosystem? Ecosystem is an important part of our environment. Ecosystem is actually consists of the biotic components, abiotic components and their interaction. आपले दरोच्छा उदारना मदे एक सुंदर उदारन विहरी सदी हो. विहर ही एक ecosystem आ है. Ecosystem ला आपन मराठी मदे परी समस्था मदे. मग या ecosystem मदे कही biotic components से, कही abiotic components से. विहरी मदे biotic component कोंते आ है, जेवी घट कोंते आ है, तस मासी है. त्यानंतर त्या मदे असलेले frog. बिडू, त्यानंतर टॉर्टोइज, इंसेक्स, अलगी, फंगस, बैक्टीरिया, दे आर बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स एंड व्हाट आर द बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स? वाटर, सोइल, रॉक, स्टोन्स, एयर, एस वेल एस द सनलाइट, टेम्परेचर, दे आर द बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स एंड वी नो दैट द बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स दे यूजिंग द बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स दे डिपेंड ऑन द बायोटिक कंपो and there is a continuous interaction between the biotic and abiotic components that is called as the ecosystem. So ecosystem is defined as the biotic components, abiotic components and their interaction. In the ecosystem, so these are the two types of the components. Now these components, they are interdependence showing there. In every ecosystem, there are many food chains. And food chains consist of the basic producers. Every living thing having the green plants, which are the producers, they produce the food for all of us. And so they are the producers. Consumers are depend for the food on producers. Primary consumers, they are the herbivores. Secondary consumers, they are the carnivores. And the next apex carnivores or apex consumers are also present in the ecosystem. So what are the herbivores? These are the animals, organisms. They depends for the food directly on the producers. What are secondary consumers? They are the organisms. They depend for the food on primary consumers. What are tertiary consumers? These are the organisms. They obtain their food from primary and secondary consumers. Apex consumers are actually the organisms. They are actually directly not eaten up by the other organisms or no directly the organism is dependent for the food on them and in this way the food chain is present take the simple example that grass on grass the grasshopper is dependent for the food on grasshopper frog then frog is eaten up by the snake snake is eaten up by the eagle so eagle is the apex consumer and frog depends on the grasshopper Grasshopper is the herbivore, it is primary consumer, frog is the secondary consumer, snake is the tertiary and the eagle is the apex consumer. So in this way, in every that the food chain, this that the feeding interaction we observe. So sequence of the feeding interaction in the every that ecosystem is called as the food chain. But no ecosystem is having the single food that the food chains. And remember, ecosystems are of the different types, like the aquatic ecosystem that is belonging to the fresh water as well as the marine water ecosystem, terrestrial ecosystems like forest, like the that desert land ecosystem, like the that the hot tempered ecosystems, or the also the snow bound region ecosystems. So ecosystems are of the different kinds, and no ecosystem is having the single food chain. Every ecosystem is having actually the many food chains and there is an intricate network of the food chain present in the ecosystem, it is called as the food web. And the organism is not having a part of single food chain, it is a part of many food chains and so that is forming the food web. So every that the ecosystem is having the two important characteristics that is the unidirectional flow of energy and the cyclic flow of the nutrients. Like oxygen cycle, nitrogen cycle, carbon cycle, etc. These are the biogeochemical cycles. And for the healthy ecosystem, the two important characteristics are there: cyclic flow of nutrients 
and the unidirectional flow of the energy. So these ecosystems, they are the natural ecosystems. Artificial ecosystems are also there. Small ecosystem, large ecosystem, temporary ecosystem, permanent ecosystem. So many ecosystems are the actually found in our surrounding. And every ecosystem is having the concept of that the energy pyramid also that we have to study in the next lecture. Okay, thanks to all of you.